So at the pawn shop, only pay two bucks a piece. The games, I don't think they're that expensive, but they're good for my collection. And for two bucks a piece, you just can't pass them up. Darksiders 2, um, Transformers, Dragon Dogma, X-Men, Star Ocean, Rygar, Tales of Vesperia, Last Odyssey, Soul Calibur. All together, it's two bucks a piece. Like I said, 22 bucks for decent games. They're not, you know, they're good games to play and they're really inexpensive. So for two bucks a piece, can't pass them up. later so at the GameStop use $33 worth of credit they have that deal buy two get one so what I did I bought Metallica which I should be able to sell for about 15 maybe 20 and Smackdown vs Raw which is basically the same thing and I should be able to get this one for free and get all my money back that I spent so at the end of the day it was all for this just to get it for free and get my money back So this was a Facebook deal, pay $2.20 for everything, which is not bad. I picked up a whole bunch of N64 games, 007, War Gods, Come, Land and Conquer, F1, Star Wars, Hybrid Heaven, i um, not pronouncing that one, Army Man, Perfect Dark, it's like the second copy I got this week, um, Quake, Blue Rush, 64, Shadow Man, Star Fox, Castlevania, Gauntlet Legends, Mega Man 64 is a good title, it's like a $50 game, um, Ocarina of Time, and then the best three games out of the lot um, were Scar StarCraft, um, goes for about 70 bucks, Daikatana, it's actually a very hard game to find, so very happy to pick this up, and probably the best game out of the lot was um, Over Battle, or at least the most expensive game, and altogether, 220 it's not a bad deal at all i think it's maybe 500 600 worth of games so for 220 can't complain later at the flea pay 10 bucks i'm hoping it works it looks in decent enough shape so i'm thinking it should everything is there obviously this is a ds xl um, the screens look okay, the buttons are working, and for 10 bucks, I think it was worth a shot. If it doesn't work, we can sell it for parts, but either way, 10 bucks, can't complain. So this was a offer of the Opain 100 for everything, which I think it was good. There is a PSP in here. There's this GameCube stand that I never seen, but I'm gonna try it out later and see what it's all about. Um, the games were actually a PS2 pad in there. Some movies, some games. Um, Crash 2. It's another Crash in there, so. Um, Spiral's Rage. Legend of Dragoon. Final Fantasy 7. Final Fantasy Origins. Final Fantasy Chronicles. Final Fantasy Anthology. Final Fantasy 9. Um, Run Across. Probably the best two games were Dragon Guard 2, which I'll get to keep, and Lunar 2. Um, obviously, it's missing all the other stuff, but still like a hundred dollar game all day. So all together, a hundred bucks is a really good deal. So very decent stuff, RPGs, all the good, all the fun stuff for a hundred bucks. At the pawn shop, only paid seven bucks, and they trade usually for okay money at GameStop. So paid seven bucks for. Forza Horizon 2 and Black Ops 2. Like I said, it's good easy money for trading, I believe. So it should be at least a double up. So this was a Facebook deal. Paid 50 bucks for Zelda Four Swords and Metroid Fusion and the uh, art or Final Fantasy. I'm pretty sure my wife is gonna like this. So for 50 bucks, I should be able to sell these two and get this basically for free. later so at the pawn shop paid 35 for everything one of the games was a, a little bit more expensive but it's still a hookup um nba live i didn't have it goes for maybe 10 bucks this one if i can get it to work i'm not sure if it's gonna work goes for maybe 20 for daytona usa championship edition um fight club i didn't have and um sonic gems i didn't have and it's actually the only one i was missing from my sonic games i paid basically 
those other three games were five and this was one thirty. He had it online, but he took it down just for me and I appreciate it. And for, for 30 bucks, it's still a decent enough deal for me to take. So very happy to add the last Sony game I needed for my collection. Later. At the pawn shop, paid five bucks a piece, which is not bad. GTA 5, CTR, and the Insane Trilogy all together. Um, Tekken 7 and Street Fighter 30th Anniversary. And all together, 20 bucks. Not bad at all. Later. This is what happens when you have a problem. I ended up paying, I believe it was 53 altogether. I always seen this cabinet and I always wanted it. So it looks in okay shape. I can clean it up. Um, Need for Speed is like 15. NBA Jam is like 10, 12 bucks. So at the end of the day for 53 bucks, it's not bad. And it's something that I definitely can add to the game room. So happy to pick this up. So this was a Facebook deal. Ended up paying out a good amount of money, like really good amount of money. 250 bucks altogether. This awesome looking case for Silent Hill 3 with the game is there. This is basically maybe like a hundred. I, I gotta, it's gotta be at least 120, 130. Um, the game I didn't have is Silent Hill Oranges and Origins. And this actually completes my set for Silent Hill for the PS2. I got everything, you know, I had everything but this game. So very happy to add this to the collection. And the best game out of the lot is Silent Hill Shattered Memories. The case is, the case is not actually, well, the case is beat up but the actual insert is not. So that would be easily replaceable. Um, it is complete. All of them are complete except Silent Hill 3. This game right now goes for about maybe, maybe 300 bucks. So I should be able to make my all my money back and I already got a plan worked out because I got to hook somebody up. But basically all I want to do is just get my money back and maybe a little bit and keep Silent Hill, Silent Hill Origins for free. later at the flea ended up paying 15 bucks i don't know why this is probably going for my daughter i don't think it's worth anything the only reason i picked this up is because it's larry bird in the cover and i believe i have the other two which i believe is magic and michael jordan um state of the k2 is new so i should be able to get 15 so this will get me all my money back and this trace in for good money at gamestop so all together 15 bucks So a big thank you to the unknown video game hunter. He hooked me up with a couple of games. Basically what we do is whenever we need something, we just tell each other and we kind of take care of each other that way. Uh, Men in Black. I don't know what this is called. I'm rocking Soccer Marina. And then the big thing and thing they're very happy about is this display for Tears of the Kingdom. I think it belongs in Walmart. So I'm very happy to add it to the collection. I have like a little... Zelda Shrine in my second game room, but we're not gonna talk about that. So very happy, very um, grateful that he was able to give me this. So um, excellent, excellent pickup actually. I kind of think goes really well with the room. And now the pickup of the week. So the pickup of the week is gonna be a little bit unusual. I basically picked up two games. There are two common titles, but there's something rare about one of them. I paid 60 bucks altogether. This is maybe worth 10. And the reason why I paid 60 bucks and it's the pickup of the week is because it's the perfect dark, not for resale. I have a not for resale collection that I have. I will do a picture on top if I can remember to put it here. And basically I have seven or eight games for the, that collection. And I think this makes it nine. And it's one of the games that I did not have, obviously. And it's a game that goes for maybe, maybe, I will say about 250 to 300 bucks. The only one I've seen in good condition is about 299, I believe. I'm not even 100% sure, but it really doesn't matter because it's going into the collection. So very happy, very excited to add this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And hopefully we'll see you all next week. later.